Hi, in this video I will show you how to procedurally generate biomes, with a final result looking like this. Algorithm we are going to be using is based on Voronoi diagrams. In a nutshell, Voronoi diagram is a set of points on the plane called seeds, and for each seed there is a corresponding region called Voronoi cell, consisting of all points of a plane closer to that seed than to any other. If you want to play around with Voronoi diagrams for yourself, link to the site I'm using right now will be in the description. First, let's identify reasons why we can't just use pure Voronoi cells as biomes. Here are four main ones. Borders are too straight. It is rather hard to find in which biome given point is. Very hard to control size of biomes. Expandability of the map. First trick we are going to be using is to split the plane into quadrants and choose exactly one seed in each quadrant. Now the size of a biome will be roughly equal to the size of a quadrant, and it actually solves problem with calculations and expandability. First let's take a closer look at the way to determine in which biome given point is, which is the same as finding the closest seed. Actually, we only need to check seeds in 4x4 group of closest quadrants. Closest seed will always be in one of them. This fact is not that hard to prove, and you can do it on your own if you really want to. Expandability is also no longer a problem, because we can just generate a ring of biome seeds around the edge, and further seeds would not interfere with current biomes. Now the only issue left to deal with is the borders being too straight. To solve this issue I'm going to use Perlin Noise, which is built-in Unity game engine. You can also use any other type of similar noise here. Trick is for each point A on the plane to fix an offset vector V, and when answering the question of what biome point A is in, we are instead going to answer the question of which biome point A plus V is in. And to determine each component of offset vector V, we will use two values of different Perlin noises in point A. Now let's take a look at the result one more time. This is the whole algorithm, link to the implementation will be in the description, and feel free to ask any questions in the comments. So. See you next time!